we find that pretrial publicity is such that you would have to prove that it is impossible to obtain a fair trial. Bless up my people, welcome back to the channel. So in this one my people, live from the courthouse of appeal in Jamaica, where the verdict has been read, Vibes Cartel and co accused are freed of the Clive Lizard Williams murder. No retrial my people, they are freed. The court also looks at other principles emanating from subsequent cases since Reed. And we have an amalgamated list of those factors. There are 12 factors that the court has considered. The seriousness and prevalence of the offense, that's one. Two, the strength of the prosecution's case. Three, the availability of the prosecution's witnesses and exhibits. Four, the av availability of the defense witnesses. Five, delay and whether a retrial can be facilitated within a reasonable time. Six, the time, financial costs, expense, and impact on the court's resources of a new trial if one is ordered. Seven, the ordeal to be faced by the appellants if a new trial is ordered. Eight, the impact of prejudicial publicity on the fairness of a new trial, if a new trial, the fairness of a new trial, sorry, if ordered. Nine, whether the new trial would give the prosecution an unfair advantage. Ten, changes in the Jury Act. Eleven, potential legislative changes in the sentence for murder. Twelve, the possibility of prejudice arising from the mandatory minimum sentence and minimum term before eligibility for parole. We have considered all the factors governing the court's determination of whether a new trial should be ordered and have given due regard to all the material, submissions and evidence presented by the appellants and the Crown. We commence by stating that the egregious nature and seriousness of the offense in this case is beyond argument. So too is the prevalence of the offense of murder in Jamaica. We make bold to say that the features of this case bear every hallmark of a deliberate attack on and bareface defiance of law and order involving allegations of transactions relating to illegal firearms, a killing in respect of which the body of the deceased has not been recovered, or should we say an alleged killing in which the body of the deceased has not been recovered, and interference with a crime scene while it was under the control of the police. The court is therefore satisfied that the nature seriousness and prevalence of the alleged offense in this case are powerful factors that weigh in favor of a retrial. The court, however, finds that there are several equally powerful factors which, when combined, militate against ordering a new trial. We find that it's the submissions regarding pretrial publicity did not assist the appellants. We find that pretrial publicity is such that you would have to prove that it is impossible to obtain a fair trial. And that question is one for the trial court. What the court did find coming out of the issue of pretrial publicity is if the mechanisms have to be employed as a process as the Crown had argued, that would add to the delay of the proceedings. As we have said, we have looked at all the other factors, but we find by now, having weighed everything in the balance, that the countervailing the weight is against a new trial. 
Our judgment will explain everything in depth. But as we say, this is for the decision for you to understand what the court has done. Having regard to all the considerations the court has taken into account, we conclude that the interests of justice do not require a new trial to be ordered for the appellants. 